Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. After Apostle Suleiman prophesied that power would leave the north, see what a northerner said. This is coming from a seasoned man of God, and we shouldn't take such prophecy with levity. It's a prophecy that concerns the whole Nigeria, although when a true prophecy comes out, one can hardly go against it as it must happen. If it doesn't happen, the prophet will be taken for a liar. For Apostle Suleiman, he said he sees power leaving the north, and he saw that the second would be first. He said God spoke this to him loud and clear. This prophecy in the way could be true considering everything that is happening in the country. Nigerians are tired of what is currently happening in the country, especially in the north, where there is no security whatsoever. Even the Northerners are in a way tired of supporting their own, which is the president, although this is a prophecy by a well-known man of God, and this is sure to happen of God had really spoken to him. The only thing that could stop it from happening is if it wasn't from God. It seems a lot of people do not believe the man of God and say it's a prophecy of life, and this statement was made by Northerners in response to what Apostle Suleiman said. He said it's a prophecy of life, and this could indicate that the Northerners are still very much interested in the president. Presidency will leave the North. Vice President will become president, says Apostle Suleiman. And then Sarah, Sahara reporter says, I saw power leaving the North. The Lord told me audibly that numbers, number two, will become number one. It's a prophecy. Nigeria will not go down you know a lot of people were just saying that uh, a lot of people actually believed in that prophecy why some nigerians were saying that not again some nigerians were saying that prediction sha we only pray for god do what is best for nigerian period because nahim papa they give power be why nigerians were even saying that this man is mad sha that this is all the promises or this is the same prophecy Every time, every day. You know, many of the Northerners were saying they're prophets of lies that uh, Oga Pastor Park well. You know, this is to tell you that uh, many Nigerians do not believe what the pastor said. You know, the fact is that uh, whether we like it or not, all this prophecy that was being said by uh, Apostle Suleiman, we can see that it, most of these are the things that is happening recently. Not even recently, it has been happening before now. So those are the things that we've been hearing and hearing and hearing all the time. Definitely, nobody will want any power to come from, uh, from the north again because of what we have seen already. Nobody will want that. Except if we want Nigerians to die, to die finally. That's just the fact about it. Nobody will want that. So many of these things are the things that is happening. So that makes many Nigerians not to believe some pastors because it is reality, because it is something that we Nigerians experience every time. Of course, we know that Buhari is from the north. And of course, we know that Buhari is not helping matters at this crucial time. Of course, we know that this issue of security, insecurity, the poverty level in Nigeria and all that, Nigerians are not happy about it. So nobody will want any power to come from the north anymore. You know, before we go for that, people were saying that Nigerian pastors are gradually reducing the almighty God to a political God. Does it mean that God no longer talk to him about the great commission and preparing people for rapture? God does not speak to him about the rapture. However, this prophecy is true, though, might not now because God is against the bad leadership of the Northerners. I am from the Northerners, too. You know, they say separation is the way out, not power shift of any forms. After Moses prophesied to Pharaoh, God Almighty hardened his heart to make name to himself. At the end, Pharaoh ended up with shame. God is not a man. You know, they said there is no point for any prophecy. This prophecy does not come from God. We are all aware that the parties has a zoning system. The North are done, are done under APC. Now it's for the Southwest or Southeast. So we don't need your fake stuff anymore. So this is exactly what, we, what we've said again. You know, they said, please, which not of over 200 ethnic groups 
and including middle belt. Which not, I repeat, I hope you understand the realities on the ground. The middle belt is not picked part of the knots you are talking about and are on their way out. The Oban Fulanese has ruled for 220 years and are poised for the reconstructions of the countries. I pray the Almighty God to guide us in, the, in this undertaking. I trust the new countries or the new federation, confederations. We accommodate another and we live in peace for. You know, may God help us because Nigerians are not ready to believe any pastors again. Trust me. Because my question is that when Nigerians is heading to destructions, what are the positive impact of many pastors? What do they do? When Nigerians are suffering, you know, when people are being killed every time, what was their impact? What did they do? What effort did they make to convince the leaders that their people are suffering? That, those are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. I'm telling you, may God help us. Just like what I keep saying that uh, it is only God that knows who is serving him in truth and in spirit. And that's just the fact about it. Some pastors might not be serving God in truth and in spirit. Why some? Some are serving God in truth and in spirit. It, ho- it is only God that knows that. So, of course, we, nobody is ready to vote for another nothingness in this 2023 presidential election. That's just the reality about it. So, guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We want to say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Stay safe. Bye.